Hello guys, uh, I am Umair Bhaur with you after a very long time. Here I, I would like to share some um, something about the first reg. This is the, uh, wait a bit, it will show, this is the digital gauge. So let it be set. Okay, now it will show, this is the 161 reg pressure, right? This I fire. Once again, it goes down to 150, right? 148, and again it comes back to even on digital gauge, it comes back to 160. Okay, so this was 161, and it quickly come came back to 160, and it will be uh, soon. It will get back to 161. So this reg is coming uh, working perfectly. Now I remove the bottle. I have done some modifications in the first reg. So I just wanted to show you. So first of all, we remove the bottle and I would suggest that if nothing is going to be done here uh, for operating on the first rack, for operating on the first rack, you don't need to empty this plenum, right? So you don't need to shoot this gun or uh, in order to get this plenum empty, right? We can just start from here because there is no air pressure here right now. So we open it. Okay, right, we start from the main. This is the connector, which is also first regulator. This is a bit tight. And you can see this plenum here is not coming out of this. right so see what is here inside it's an o-ring right and this o-ring was in fact it sits here right on this collar okay then what else is here you would have seen in the videos of some other guys i remove this screw and i remove this adjuster screw right and now i push this allen key to get this piston out of it right this piston has come out and the bevelier washers which are already polished those are inside i'm not touching those washers right so what we have done what modifications we have done in fact if you would have seen i show you yes you can see this was the original uh, part and this is the modified part that I have made, right? This is the original part. So there are a bit differences. You can see in this original part, the outer dia is 6.64 mm. While the in internal dia, I mean that side of dia, while this side of dia is 7.01. I mean, these are both internal dias. This is also internal dia from one edge. This is 6.64. This is also internal dia from the other end of this sleeve. This is 7.01, right? So that means it's tapered inside and it's around 0.4 mm tapered, right? So what is the reason of this taper? I have kept the same degree of taper in this part, right? This is the uh, new part that I have made. The purpose is that uh, this piston goes into this, right? like this right and this come up to this right now what is the purpose of making this dia a bit bigger the purpose is to uh, to enhance the recovery time to make the recovery time quicker because when when does the air cylinder air cut that is the stage when this piston comes back and it touches this adjuster screw the air is cut off right so when we shoot the gun we fire the gun what happens as he, he, this side of dia is a bit larger it gives uh, a bit easy as you can see piston comes back right just due to a bit oil silicon oil the piston comes back so under pressure when the piston comes back it comes very quickly due to this tapered surface 
then there is one more thing that we have done here you can see this is the o-ring this is a very tiny little o-ring of 1 mm right in original you have seen that there is no groove for outer o-ring right but here i have made an a groove for outer o-ring so i put it back now you have seen that piston goes into this and this is the thing which i wanted to show you that this groove and this o-ring in addition to all the plus and minus of all this so what happens see this o-ring this o-ring easily what it it does it locks the air here when it is fit air cannot come from this stainless steel part and this brass part from inside these two parts air cannot come out right and what does this part do this part comes here and in the original design only this part stops the air from uh, between this stainless steel part and this uh, brass part only this o-ring stops the air right so now we have achieved a double sealing function so initially this goes into this this o-ring this goes into this right it sits into this collar and this brass piston that i have made this goes into this right this has been set okay now i put it back into the gun it needs to be tightened with it further that i will do later right now i am just assembling it like this and you can see that this is one groove of air for air passage and on opposite direction this is one more groove so i have made one more groove for better recovery and better function of the regulator right so this cap will come here like this and here we are done now we just have to adjust the leg pressure right so what i showed in this video that how can we improve that sleeve part and uh, uh, how we can make that part more uh, uh, more i mean able to seal the air uh, in the regulator basically uh, i have seen some guns in which that bigger o-ring that comes that side that is not uh, sealing properly right that i put at the last on the on that edge in some uh, guns that o-ring does not fully seal the gun fully seal the regulator so when we put this additional o-ring of 1 mm so that makes it i mean perfectly sealed there so if there is any if any there is some air is still have to go out then that uh, o-ring that i have put on the edge that normally that is the oem setup so that covers any that kind of uh, leakage so this rag remains 100% uh, leakage free and uh, it is very much consistent and it holds it doesn't creep much so this is all what i wanted to share with you so please uh, i have uh, come back after a long time i had been busy please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, please comment about and if you want to ask anything please you are uh, welcome very much thank you bye